yeah, that last chord's in there. It's really, really cool. Today, we're going to be looking at Crewman, Curse of the Pharaohs from, is it Into the Tomb? Welcome, Psycho Billy Fanatics. Today, we're looking at Crewman, Curse of the Pharaohs from Into the Tomb, 1987. I was born in 1987. Maybe that's why I love this song. It just feels good. You could see I had a lot of fun playing that one. It's really, really cool. I'm really into a lot of different stuff. You guys probably know that. Uh, everything from psychability right to, you know, solo jazz guitar. But whenever I pick up this stuff, it's just like, ah, it's just heaps of fun. So this is a really good one if you're not super experienced, if you're getting your chops up. It, it does get fast, but at least on the technical side, a lot of it you can play with one or two fingers, which is really handy because I've got four of them. You probably do as well. Well, four on this hand. I hope you don't mind me quickly mentioning that my website, Adrian White Online, has over 40, I think more now, 40 transcriptions of Psychobilly stuff plus a Psychobilly course. So definitely check that out if you are delving into this style. That website is probably the number one resource in the world for learning Psychobilly guitar in my opinion, which is biased, clearly. So without wasting any more of your time, let's start playing the song. I'm going to bring the camera forward and we'll get to work. Okay, you can also get the transcription if you become a member of my Patreon. Support the channel, you get something back. You get the transcriptions as I post them. So here we go. The very beginning of the song goes like this. O3. So I'll I'll play these first and then I'll walk you through it. So I'll walk you through that passage. We're going we're on the fourth string. We're going open third. Then we're bending the sixth fret twice. Pull downwards for it. Trust me, it's easier. Open third string. Third fret on the fourth string. Open fourth string. Third fret on the fourth string. Open third string. Third fret on the fourth string. Open fourth string. Third fret on the fifth string. And then we're playing this A5, so it's 5th string open, and 2nd fret on the 4th string. Okay, so that is the intro. It repeats again. But at this time, it finishes on the 4th uh, and 3rd string. Apologies for the little bit of the delay there. I noticed that the camera seems to be struggling a little bit today. Not sure why. Maybe it's the lighting. Okay, so that's everything into the little build-up that goes... Okay, and that builds up into where the vocals begin. So we go open 5th string, 3rd fret on the 5th string, and then we play a D5 and we do this thing where we bring the 2nd finger down onto the 3rd fret. So we go... We strum the 4th and 3rd string, place your 2nd finger on the 3rd fret of the 4th string and hit both strings again. Then we hit both strings and lift. Then we put our 2nd finger on the 3rd fret of the 5th string. Okay, now we pretty much do the same thing from A5. Where we hit both strings, place the 2nd finger on the 3rd fret of the 5th string, strum again, lift and put it back on the same string. So the only difference is with D, we reach back like that for A, for the A5, we just place the finger twice, so. So that slowly builds up. Uh, and when the song kicks into full speed, it continues but the only thing is, so that on the transcription is from uh, bar 21. And at that point, it's, uh, it's pretty steady, only... We get this little tag. So I've actually labeled that as the at speed tag riff because it gets used a lot in the song. Two, three, tag. So D5, A5, D5. Okay, so again, nothing too complicated here. It's just fast. So practice it really slow. The speed will come. So that forms the majority of the song. If you can play that, you can play the rest of the song uh, other than the instrumental section, and there's one part in the verse where it changes. So the verse, palm muting, by the way, and I'm using mostly downstrokes, the good news uh, for a lot of people that don't like doing upstrokes. You can get away with just playing downstrokes. 
if you want to alternate the right hand. It's also okay, but it just doesn't feel as comfortable for me, which is uh, a good sign that's probably better. You're better off just doing downstrokes. So for the verse, when the singing kicks in, uh, everything stays the same. I'll just slow it down. So you do four repeats of that two bar passage or eight bars. And then you get to go to this section where it goes to a G5. So we're holding third fret on the sixth string, fifth fret on the fifth string. Hit both, put your pinky on the sixth fret, strum again, lift it. Put your pinky on the sixth fret. Don't worry if you block the fifth string, if you kill it off, it's okay. Still sounds good, okay, and I've put some of those notes in brackets so you know not to stress. Sometimes I didn't, it just depends. Uh, how much I was focusing, but you don't always have to make that note ring clear, so don't panic too much. So we do one, two, three, four. Then we go up to A and we do the same thing. One, two, three, four. When we go back to G, we do this though, which is really cool. So the passage goes, and then we finish on an A chord. But this time we want the second fret there on the second string. So fifth string, fourth string, third string, second string. Okay, so. Then we return to the tag riff I just mentioned. Just that passage though. So we go. Now that is literally Everything in the song other than one instrumental that is so easy. Okay, I've marked it bar 45 on the transcription. It just says instrumental. Okay, so the instrumental goes like this. So simple, it's genius, and it sounds great. So it's just the fifth fret on the first string. Fifth fret on the second string. You pick it three times. Again. Five, five, five. You can see it just alternates on those two notes. The whole instrumental, which is really cool. I love that simplicity. Great stuff. The instrumental later. Is exactly the same. It's just at tempo. So just going through that slowly. O oh, three six six O oh, three O oh, three O oh, three O oh, three. Okay. And again. Only this time we finish with this bizarre D major seven thrown in there. It just sounds completely random, but I love that. That's one of the things I always loved about psychobilly, and will always love about psychobilly is just some random stuff like that. Okay, so that's O two two two. Just flatten the first finger right across. That's the entire song. The rest of the song, even the the vocal melody, the na 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 na. It's just it's exactly the same riff there. Okay, just watch some of the lead-ins. That O three that comes in every now and then when you don't expect it. Um, but that's it, folks. That's the entire song. That will cover you for all of the parts. Okay, that's everything else that happens in the song. The last thing I need to do is just thank my latest patrons. Tilt McGillis, Jeremy Farquha, Jamie Cribben, Sean Smith, Glenn Smith, Darwin Howell, Stanley Poitras, Stephen Weatherall, Fergal Heaps, Leslie Bushell, Ian Johnston, Ander Ruiz Torrio, Dan Hampton, Glenn Smith, Evan Gorin, Eric Castillo, Chuck Flood. If I've missed you, please let me know, uh, and I will make sure I mention you. And thank you so much for your wonderful contributions. Folks, I hope you enjoyed this video. See you in the next one.